Right. I think this is the one. The storm swimming up in the very uh, Riviera and whatnot. <clears throat> Hello driver, today you have been selected to drive the first ever Picton to London Paddington service in the all new GWR Class 800. You will take the service as far as Exeter St. David's, all the way calling at Torquay, Newton Abbott, Tegmouth, uh, Dawlish and Exeter St. David's. Fun times ahead, let's begin this one. Hopefully the skins all work. <laughs> But it'll be in. Well, who knows if? Well, it's probably probably Scotland will go independent. I think. I think if most people voted to stay in the EU, they'll probably go. Well, they'll probably go um, independent. It would be funny if they don't. That'd be kind of stupid. <laughs> then the whole S and P is just flawed. <laughs> Do I have the Virgin Trace East Coast reskin for the Class 9 one and the DVT? I think I do. I don't know if I have the branded one or the unbranded one. I think I have the unbranded one from Armstrong Powerhouse, but I don't know if I have the branded one from, like, freeware sites. Breakfast, Brexit sounds like a cornflakes advertisement. I'm surprised no one's done a, a Brexit cereal yet. Would have been fun. Ooh. Oh yeah, and it's diesel, yeah, because it's not electric. Cool. I'm liking this. Oh, I like the stickers and whatnot, nice. Hello driver, today you have been selected to drive the first ever pegged into London Paddington service in an all new GWR Class 800. You will take the service as far as Exeter St. David's. Along the way you're calling at Torquay, Newton Abbott, Taymouth, Dawlish and Exeter St. David's. Please start by releasing the doors here at Pegton. Yes we shall, let's just get some... Excuse me? Control I? Shift I? What? Give me my instrument lighting, please. I've n I haven't actually driven the 800 in so long, so like, I'm... Where is the instrument lighting? Don't tell me. What? Ah. There we go. Perfect. Right, and then we want some wiper controls because... Well, headlights we can do... Full. No, that's that's. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. That's daytime. Uh, we need. We don't need the reading light. We're not reading. We're driving. Um, I need wipers. I don't want to use my my. Uh... Oh, like that. Is that a good speed? Oh, that's a very nice speed. Actually, I like that. Let's go outside. Good. Very nice, very nice skin, I like it. Great Western Railway, Department for Transport, Hitachi inspired the next, Network Rail, Agility Trains. Oh, nice. I like the, even the Matrix displays work. Fantastic. I like that. I like it a lot. And is the interior done up to GWR spec? Well, I don't even know what the interior probably would look like in an 800 by now. But nice. I do like it. The outside looks very, very nice. Nice. 
They do not sound like that, no, probably. Uh, look. Yes, they're by mode. The next station's Torquay. I want to hear this train go out, to be honest. I'm curious. Well, it sounds like a 170. Yeah. AWS cleared. Oh, this sound. This is weird. Like, cause I, I've only, I've only heard it as an electric. So hearing it as a, hearing it as a, a diesel is pretty fun. But I can still hear, I can still hear some of the electric, which is pretty cool. That's actually really cool. I really like that. Like, yeah, I can hear electric and I can hear diesel. Oh, am I speeding? Nice. Cool. I like it. Get the fancy, nice, uh... Get the fancy, nice camera views. One of the quality features of, uh... Of this unit, even though it's... Oh, I like that. I haven't driven this one, this uh, unit in quite some time, so I like it. <laughs> Have you heard of the new Queen's Ferry Crossing is delayed once again? What's the Queen's Ferry Crossing? I'm sorry. If I don't sound like I know what that is. <laughs> they do not sound like a 395 in real life. Yeah, that's the thing. It's just annoying that they kind of... Uh, well, the thing is, it's odd that they even built this train for this game. Because obviously it wasn't, it wasn't out yet in real life. So they didn't even know how it sounds like. But they were like, oh, it's made by Hitachi. And it looks similar to the 395, which it... It's maybe but they thought oh it's going to definitely sound like a 395 so they put 395 sounds for it logic why is the speed limit so slow Quite annoying actually. Uh, the new fourth road bridge, you must have saw pictures. Um, I know about the fourth road bridge, I don't know what the Queen's Ferry Crossing um is de what, what's delayed about? Are they like repairing the bridge or something and there's delays on the repairs? I don't know. What do you mean? Let's get a little bit more speed on the uh, on the wipers. I think we should. But all right now we're doing is just coasting around at 40 in a high speed train. So it's a bit boring, I'm not going to lie. It's not the funnest thing. Anyway, we were coming into a station already, so we're <laughs> going to have to be slowing down. Will you do the Class 800 on Western Main Lines as a quick drive, please? Uh, probably not today, because we're already doing the Class 800. I the fourth road bridge uh, that is not needed, the one that we've all been paying tax for, and it costs uh, twice as much as the old one. No. Oh. oh, there's a uh, cross country. Very nice. Oh, 
Oh, is that um, electric that I hear? That's the braking. Very nice. The station is talky. Get some cross country goodness in there. Uh, thank you very much, Alex Robo460, for the follow. Very much appreciated. Welcome to the stream. The next station is Newton Abbott. Thank you very much. It's a brand new bridge that is getting built. It was meant to be opened in December and now has been put back to August because of the bad weather. It's cost a huge amount of money, but the old bridge isn't made for all the traffic. Oh, actually, it's me saying, like, I don't know what the Queen's Ferry is. I actually know what. Well. Wait, is this Edinburgh I'm talking about, or is this... No, it is Edinburgh. Yeah, I know what you're talking about, because I actually driven on the old, um... Old, uh, what's it, the old, uh, uh, Fourth Bridge, whatever it's called. Well, I, I, I've driven on the old one into, like, across into Edinburgh, and I've seen the new one that's being built. Like, it's very close to the, to the, to the old one and whatnot. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Oh my god. I, I so stupid. Yeah. I've seen the old, the even the the train one as well. The the cool steel one, which is really really epic. But um, yeah, I've seen the um, I've seen the new uh, the the Queen's Ferry Bridge. Um, looks impressive. Um, and from because I passed it twice uh, in 2015 in the summer, and it was still kind of they were still putting up the foundations and the pillars in the in the in the actual. Uh, estuary and um, then last year in the summer when I went they were actually having like they're putting on the sections and stuff which was really really cool so it's cool to hear that they're near completion obviously they were supposed to be done in December which they're not so hopefully in August what's the scenario and where can I get it, it is um, it is the uh, something in the st Riviera in the storm or something like that I don't know uh, I will, when I put it on YouTube, I'll link down the scenario, or Super Alps can link you the scenario right now in the chat, actually, to the actual scenario that I'm doing right now. It's actually one of his scenarios with his reskins, his gorgeous reskins. Okay, that was an interesting, uh, interesting horn. Oh, we've been given five more miles per hour to play with. How generous. <laughs> Do I use Instagram stories? Not really. When, when you've got the fourth rail bridge bloody masterpiece that is yeah it's oh my god i remember when i first saw it for the first time like literally in pictures it looks spectacular but when you're actually driving across the old fourth bridge and looking at the uh fourth rail bridge it's oh my god it was the first time i saw it i was like whoa like it's so much more impressive in real life it was crazy good does it have a speed set i don't think it has a speed set but should.
Just strutting around 45 miles per hour. <laughs> Android or iOS? I have iOS, but I, I like Android too, but I just prefer iOS kind of generally. It's just nice and simpler to be honest. I liked Android at a time and I still like Android, but I, I prefer iOS slightly more. Have you been on the rail bridge by train? No, I have not. I've never been on a train in Scotland in my life. I've only driven in Scotland. I've never taken a bus in Scotland. I've never taken a train in Scotland. Only driven. Whoa, whoa. that's a bit. That's a bit tight. That's really tight. That bridge. Jesus. Man, this is so slow. Like literally, this train just feels this just feels so slow for it. If you know what I mean. And there we go. Sixty. But I guess for like a class one fifty down here, sixty is pretty fast. But for class eight hundred, this is uh. This is this this is child's play. Do I have the TP class A O two skin? No. Oh, I'm gonna have to be tweaking a bit with the brake here because we're just going down this gradient here, which is a bit annoying. Can't just leave it to coast. Well, I can, but like I'm gonna have to. Dab a bit of break from here and there because we're definitely going to go over 60. I've done uh, scenarios in Train Sim that go over the fourth rail bridge. I think I've done. I think I've done them on street. No, actually, no. I've done them. On, I've done a video of the fourth rail bridge. I think. Well, I've been with a HST. I think a GNER HST. I'm, I don't know actually. No, no, no. I didn't actually. It was. It was another one. Oh, is that what I think it is? Oh, God. <sighs> Dear God. Have you ever drinking a bear? No, I've never... And I never really want to drink a bear. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're now approaching Newton Abbott. This is your GWR service to London Paddington. Beer. Yes, I've drink I've drank I don't really like beer. Um I like cider. Um, but even cider beer, I'm not really a fan of those alcohol. I'm not really a fan of alcohol in general. Um, I might have the odd wine. Um, I like I do like wine. Um, but um, beer and cider, not really. But if I had to choose between beer and cider, I prefer cider definitely. Um, but yeah, wine's my kind of favorite alcoholic beverage. And then spirits and stuff like and like brandies and whiskeys maybe. But like. Like I like I like the like brandy and ice cream or something or like a bit of Bailey's or something like that. But like I wouldn't just like buy myself a bottle of whiskey and just have it like in a week or something like that. I'm not an alcoholic. I hope. <laughs> Odd few sherry's at Christmas. Uh, I've never actually had sherry. Querty, I thought you were driving on rails, not on the road, where buses go faces. <laughs> yes, of course. And then we have the uh, lovely GWR HSD over there. You do your thing. I'm driving the future. That's still the past. Still more floating signs. What has been wrong with my assets? They're sort of a little bit mucky.
I don't think there is a 5 mark. I'm just going to stop at the 6 marker, to be honest. Welcome to Newton Abbott. This skin is really nice. Oh, it's it's sort of 3D, isn't it? I like that. You have the nice matte. I like that. Very nice. How long are we staying here at Newton Abbott? Uh, till a few minutes here, so not too bad. A little bit of a... I wonder when the HSTs will retire. I don't think they'll... They're slowly beginning to retire, but I think, like, uh, like East Midlands trains will still have HSTs. I don't think they're going to get replaced anytime soon. And I do believe Scotland is going to get... Uh, like, ScotRail is going to be getting HSTs. So, they're still... They're still going to be there, trust me. They're not, they're not... They're not going anywhere. They're pretty solid trains, to be honest. So... They'll... They'll, they'll, they'll always be there for now. I'm thinking of what kind of shot I could do, but there's no real one I can get both of them. I think I took the best one, actually. Well, this one might be good, actually. Something like that. Have both the logos in. Yeah, there we go. That's that's, and we have a nice woman there to model. Nice. It's interesting why they went back to this sort of branding, or like green. Because they were, like, First Great Western were green at one point. But I do like this GWR. It is really nice. Like, it's... It's kind of... I like this kind of nice, strong, dark green. Like, dark colours are definitely really good. Ooh, is that MTU? I think that might be the MTU sound pack. Or maybe not. I don't know. Does it sound like it? I have no idea. <sighs> Quetty, is this you from YouTube? Um, yeah, I think it is. <laughs> Why why do you ask? Wait, is this from YouTube? What do you mean is this is this scenario from YouTube? No. None of the stuff I've done in on streams is from YouTube. But I'm going to put some of these stream highlights on YouTube. Thank you, James. Good departure. Nice. 
I like it. Oh, I didn't know this. Oh, it cho shows you the speed limit. Oh, that I never knew that, actually. That's the first time I've actually noticed this. That is very cool. Not gonna lie, that is... That's cool. Respect for that. How's the London pack going, Fompsy? I don't know how it's going. Um, it's going... It's going. <laughs> like, Reese is doing all the... He's, like, that's just what he's focused on now, and he's doing a good job at it. But it, it's going well, I guess. Are you from YouTube? Yes, I think I am. <laughs> the automatic train protection, Sam. No, I'm not. I'm not. I don't think this train has it on it. Well, in this game, it doesn't. But I think, I hope, I hate it, because I have to always be like answering alarms, and I, I ain't for that. Oh, I can speed up now. I just want to enjoy the scenery, enjoy the train. You know, that's all I'm for in this game, and. <laughs> Like, cool, sometimes I might like to simulate some stuff like, you know, DTS, DST and whatnot, but, you know, or, yeah, ATP or whatnot, but sometimes I just don't care for those kind of stuff. And finally we get 90 miles per hour, yes! Oh, it flashes when it comes up to 90. Oh no, does that flash because I don't have much of it to go till 90, or maybe it'll change from 90. That's very cool, I like that. We are sp see this train. This train can. This train can go. I'm guessing it. Um, I'm guessing the train probably goes faster in electric mode than in diesel mode, or do they both go the same speed? Do they go uh, in both modes? Do they go up to the same kind of high speeds, the same top speeds, and whatnot? Oh, yes, fantastic! Give me more of that. Oh, that was a good one, actually. I think I just I uh, snapped that one really nicely. Ah, oh, typical British weather. Don't you just love it? But recently, we have actually we've been actually having some really nice weather recently, up and around the country. Some of my uh, course mates, colleague uh, uh, course mates, that have been going around uh, on some of their trips in this Easter, have been like going like to Scotland and to Cornwall and whatnot. They've been having some really nice weather actually. Some really really nice weather. Thank you, Flying Scotsman, for 072 for the host. Thank you very much. Start slowing down for this uh, 80. Does it flash 60 now? Yeah, it does. Oh, that's so cool. I like this. Very nice speedometer. Very friendly. I really should uh, start slowing down, though. Oh my god, the brakes are immense on this. Holy, holy moly. Very nice. Do you know where Belsize Park is? Uh, yeah. Uh, see you, um, see you, uh, fam622. Thanks, Gino, man. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Ladies and gentlemen, the next station is Tamith. Oh my god, this train slows down so fast, it's pretty good. I'm 
this would be a good view. This is like probably where the uh, instructor would sit. Be like, oh no, he was actually sit over there. Maybe this would be just like a friend. <laughs> it's slowing down too much, mate. That's it. That's it. You want to stop at that marker? Nice. Good job, buddy. See you, I am GM Boat. Thanks for tuning in, man. Hope you enjoyed it. Okay, that's uh, that's an animation right there, guys. That's 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 um, that's stop action there, stop motion right there. We were, I think, pretty bang on on the mark actually there. Five, four, five, nice. Not bad. And even here, bang on, 4-5. <laughs> Very nice. Ladies and gentlemen, the train now at platform 2 is the... is the 1438 G Great Western Railway service to London Paddington. This service is formed of five coaches. Open up the taps, open the batteries up, open the diesel whatever up. <laughs> right, I mean, well actually, there's no seat there so the friend would probably be standing which I don't think is, well, I don't know, in the cab, well, can you stand and drive a train? Is that illegal to do? Because technically, if you can, if passengers can stand, why can't the driver stand? If that makes any sense, I don't know if that makes any sense. But surely, surely, if the pa if the passengers can stand, the driver can stand and drive. I've seen like, I don't know on mainline trains, but I've seen, um, I've seen uh, London Underground drivers, um, especially on the older stocks. They some of them that just stand and just drive which is you know if you want to stand you want to stand can't uh, argue with a man or woman that wants to stand and drive a train you should try the London to Brighton speed run oh, maybe should at some point yeah 220 cross country Sam, you're so close to hitting 20,000 subs. I know. I don't know what to do for it. Like, should I like do a giveaway or something? I don't even know. I, I, I don't plan for like these miles, milestones or anything like that. So like, I'm, I'm kind of out of ideas. So I don't know if anyone has any ideas or whatever. Maybe do like a 20,000k stream day or something. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really care, like, <laughs> like, I do care, like, it's, it's great, you know, 20,000 people, you know, have subscribed and like my videos or whatever, but, like, I'm not, like, you know, oh my god, you changed my life. <laughs> give away your car. No, I couldn't, I couldn't give up Patrick. Definitely could not give up Patrick. Twenty-four hour stream. Oh, I don't know if I'm ready for that yet. Maybe I don't know. We'll still. I don't know. Well, maybe we'll see. If I did a charity, I don't even know what charity I would give. If I did a charity stream, I'm not too sure. We are now approaching Dawlish. This is a Great Western Railway service to London Paddington. Very nice, Dawlish. Beautiful. Those uh, intimidating waves over there. Uh, 
And is that a four? Oh, that's a. F oh, okay, that's the five car marker there. And oh, oh, absolutely on the money there. I am a profesh at this. Uh, Grand Central will be getting five Class 180s from GWR to increase its 180 fleet and replace its HSTs. They will be getting six car Class six car Class 900 Pendolino sets. Is that like the same? Is that the same 390 Pendolino, or is it like a more modern Pendolino? I guess for their Blackpool to London Euston kind of route that they have intended going. It's a shame that they're getting rid of their um, their HSDs. Their HSDs are cool. Like they're they're the only HSDs left with like buffers on them. I wonder where they're going to actually be acquired or who's going to acquire them actually. Because they're like the HSDs with the buffers are really really cool. They look really tough and like you know you don't want to crash into that. Like I don't understand why trains don't actually have buffers anymore. Well, probably because they're built more safer and whatnot, and they have maybe they have internal buffers, but external buffers look way cooler, I think, actually. So it's a bit it's it's sad that there's no uh, external buffers anymore, like uh, like like the the HSTs that Grand Central have. It's a bit shit. It's a bit sad, but I guess you know what can you do? People don't like seeing buffers. Oh, it's a modern Pendolino. Oh, they're scrapping them. Oh, that's sad. That's that's a shame. Uh, cancer research. I suggest. I don't know. I would donate to cancer research. Like what? Well, I don't know what charity. Like from like it's like represents me or like effect like affects me or something like that you know something that i would be tied to like i wouldn't want to just give it to a charity that's just like that's a charity but i don't believe in their beliefs or like i'm not really like i have nothing really related with that charity like you know i would want something a bit relatable if i was to do something to uh, with charity or whatnot uh the next station is exodus and david's where we end our shift I'm guessing the doors are closed. I didn't get any indication that they were not. Yeah, they're closed. They're closed, all right. Uh... No, they're scrapping the buffered HSTs Grand Central, apparently. Oh yeah. What the hell are these graphics? Like Jesus. Like Like I'm sorry, if you can build like a pre like moderately detailed train like this with kind of intricate parts and whatnot. Not the best example of the eight hundred in this game, but if you could do that and then you look to the right here and you see these disgusting waves. It just does it doesn't it doesn't make sense to me. But hey, obviously this this uh, this game doesn't really have much. Well, it has sort of a water engine, I suppose. You have this rain and whatnot, and then you have like lakes and stuff. But it doesn't have an advanced water system like the Unreal Engine game will have. Well, has ice cream. Oh, we have 10 miles to go, so we're going to have some speed, hopefully. What is... Oh, I thought, I thought that was a 377 for a second. I was like, what the hell are you doing here? Oh, what is this? Ah, the, the Tarka line. Oh, nice. I like the comparisons of... Uh, 
of uh, liveries. Not bad. It's been a while since I've streamed, yeah I know. I'm not sorry. See you, James Sindon. Thanks for tuning in, man. Hope you have a good evening. A hundred miles per hour at one point. Yes, I'm. Wi I'm ready for that. I hope it comes soon. We've been actually pretty on time, actually, for all these stations, which is actually pretty good. I am happy about that. I had another train actually. Whoa! How did I op did I open this with K? No, K is not the right word. B. I don't, I didn't press B for some reason. I don't know why that I don't know why that opened. Give a little picture there like that. Close your mouth. 800. Close it. Don't be rude. Have manners. Oh, sound is gone. No. There we go. Got it back. I just unplugged my headphones for a brief second. Have you seen the new Mark V carriages for Trans Pan Line Express and Caledonia Super? No, not really interested in that. A <gasps> hundred miles per hour. It's coming. Yes, there we go. Program 4, engage. I'm ready for this. And it's already at 100. Damn, that's acceleration right there. That horn there is just not really pleasing to me, to be honest. They're built by CAF and they look sick. Cool. Modern carriages with some old locos. Well, well, not old locos. You can just get some six eights or something. Oh my god, there's a whistle board every f two miles. Well, every mile, pretty much. Get out the way, guys. Nom 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 nom, yes, yeah, slime old man. <laughs> More power, please. 
all of it. Cost triple three or three three two. Isn't the three 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 what they use on the Gatwick Express, and isn't the three three two what they use? What Northern Rail use? I prefer the Gatwick. Uh, no, not Gatwick. Heathrow Express. Uh, the three triple threes are what the Heathrow Express use, or is that the three three ones? I don't know. I don't know what they're called. But I like the Heathrow Express one more. I wish they made more of those trains. They look really cool, like really eggy, like rounded kind of shaped. Like, it's a shame they didn't make any more of those kind of seaman units because those seaman units look cool compared to like the 450 or the 350 or the 360. Like, it, like those triple threes or three three twos or whatever, they look actually pretty sick. Like you know. Ah, slowing down to 75 miles per hour. That's fine. Coasting down to exit to St. David's. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now approaching Exeter St. David's where this train will be uh, briefly halted to regulate the service and also a train a change of driver. A uh, change for Southwest Train Services, other GWR services and Crossrail, I think, maybe. <laughs> uh, be sure to have all your personal bombings with you. Uh, this train is for London Paddington. Is that a pacer attached to a 150? Why? Is that even does that even happen? Okay. Does that even happen, people? Tell me. Can I drive the 380? Oh, I hate the 380. Don't like it. Oh, I don't like it in this game. They're built by Caff and Siemens. Mm, nice. I like this AWS noise as well. It's very calming. It's not like it's an alert, but it's not like an alert in your face and it doesn't hurt your ears. It happens sometimes. Well, it shouldn't really, to be honest, in my opinion. Like the 150 is decent and then you put something that isn't decent onto it, attached to it. Now approaching platform 5 is the um, is the uh, 1458 GWR service to London Paddington calling at I don't know <laughs> this train consists of five carriages coaches and our lovely five marker here excellent Paces, paces, paces. Oh my god, paces everywhere. And 150s. Don't get me wrong, I like the 150. 150 is nice. Solid train. And then you don't have a solid train. It's like literally you have a rock and then you have some paper. Literally, rock, paper, scissors in train sim. Rock, paper, and scissors. I don't know what's really a scissors. Maybe the 800s are scissors. It's like a sharp train. Sharp and fast. Yeah, so yeah, rock, paper, scissors you have here. Right here on the screen, rock, paper, scissors. Give that one last screenshot there. That looks derpy actually, because the lights are like the same size almost. This is Exodus and Davis, change here for services to Barnstaple, Exmouth, Exmouth, or Exmouth. No, it's probably Exmouth, right? Uh, and London Waterloo. Congratulations, driver. All stops successful. That's how you do it.